Hey there, RecTech family, Chef Greg here with you. Today we're doing a smoked chicken enchilada casserole. Really couldn't be any easier. I've gotten uh, four ears of corn, uh, two small onions, and two bell peppers. Gone ahead and diced them up, seasoned up a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary mix. We put it on a grill mat and roasted it off for about 20, 25 minutes, gave a little bit of color. We've got some leftover uh, smoked chicken. It's the meat from about a, a whole chicken or so. You can also do um, smoked pork is great in here. Uh, any pulled beef, fantastic. About a cup of your favorite salsa. You can also use uh, Rotel. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. And this is gonna be one of the elements uh, to our layers. It's gonna be really fantastic. All right, so to build this bad boy, we're gonna use an aluminum pan. We've gone ahead and oiled it up. We're also gonna add a little bit of enchilada sauce to kind of coat the bottom. And depending how big of the pan you use, we'll take four or six corn tortillas. It's almost like building the lasagna. So we'll take our chicken. Add about a third of the mixture. Some shredded Colby Jack cheese. A little bit of our enchilada sauce. Now the top layer will only add four tortillas. Give it a push. Take our sour cream. So go right on the top. And when this bakes, it's gonna make a nice like sour cream layer. Really delicious. Add a little bit of scallion. And then the last little bit of our Colby Jack cheese on the top. We'll let this bake at 400 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes until everything is golden brown and bubbly. All right, so our enchilada casserole is cooled for a little bit. It smells great. That sour cream made a great crust on the top. Let's go ahead and try to serve her up. So it's looking delicious. You can see the layers of the corn tortillas, the chicken, the roasted corn, peppers, and onions. Mmm. Great flavor. Great way to use up leftovers. <laughs> 